everyone, it's Brandy. I'm just gonna come on and paint. Sorry that sun's going down and it's kind of in my light. So I just was live on the Dixie Bell page and I'm working on this buffet. Do you guys see it? Let me know if you can see it okay. I know my light's bad right now. It's to go down. Oh, there we go. That's better, right? So I'm working on this buffet and I'm just gonna keep working it chat you guys up. It's been a while since I've been live on my own page. Um, I've just had a really a lot going on. What I see, I see people watching. This is the same buffet I was just working live on the Dixie Bell page and I'm just going to keep working it with you guys. Um, so my colors are, I have a base of, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm frazzled tonight. I've been frazzled. That's why I haven't been on Hey, Tina. I've got like seven projects, all 80% complete. Um, I have hardware problems right now, which is why you haven't seen me post anything lately. So this has a base of um, Dixie Bell Boss in white. Over that, I have a coat of drop cloth. And right now I'm working in Stormy Seas. Um, so I have Stormy Seas, Midnight Sky, and drop cloth are my colors. Hi Tammy, hi Jana, hi Carla. So really I'm just, um, I'm blending the paint to kind of accentuate this detail here. Um, I'm using my white to kind of clean it up and smear it out a little bit. I got three brushes out, actually four. So if you see me do this one, this is Midnight Sky. This is Drop Cloth, the white. And then this is my um, Stormy Seas brush. Then I have another one that's totally just a dry brush that I'm using just for blending. And I have out some water bottles. So you'll see me spraying water. Um, oh, my mom's watching. Hi, mom. Hey, Janet. Um, so let's see. I'm going to start out. I, I just want to kind of reactivate this paint. So I'm going to start out by putting on some drop cloth. Um, I don't want a full ombre, but you can kind of see what I'm going for here. I'm just blending it down. It's a little heavier on the bottom, comes up and fades out a little bit. Um, I'm just really using it to bring out these details in here. Um, so I just went live on the Dixie Bell page. I almost compared this to working the chalk paint like a, um, oh, is it late? Oh, it's eight o'clock in California. So yeah, I'm in California. I'm, I'm the earliest time zone. So I know I probably hit people at like midnight sometimes. See, the sun's still out. You can tell. It's not nighttime yet. But I agree. I'm on, I'm in summer mode. Like, I, I'm a night owl. Um, stay up incredibly late at night. That's why I have these bags under my eyes. Um, but that's my quiet time. That's my settle down time. That's my no kid time. Um, so I, I like nights. Um, so yeah, I'm just cleaning this up with some drop cloth. I'm going to come back and blend in my, um, the, the white, adding the white is kind of like an eraser. Kind of cleans up the, I just want to make sure I'm matching my other side. Um, so I feel like I also owe you guys an explanation that I've had no posts at all in like this week and last. And the only reason for that is, um, I have a whole bunch of pieces going. I just haven't finished anything. Um, I've been doing these lives every Thursday for Dixie Belt and it's meant that I, I literally start a new piece every single week for my live. Um, so I've been trying to incorporate my orders if I can. Um, but it means I start them and then by the time I do my live, like I have to start a new one for next week's live. So that's been a struggle. I'm not, it's, it's, I'm not finishing anything, I guess is what my struggle is. Stormy seas, I'm gonna do down here at the bottom. Had some other blues on here, but I think the stormy seas is really a better fit for what I'm going for. Um, 11 p.m., oh my gosh. Sorry guys, it's not that late here in California, I swear. I'm still out in my tank top, like my kids are playing. Um, I'm not burning the midnight oil in my garage, although I do that, but I'm not doing it right now. Thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to give you some more on this piece. I just did this um, live on the Dixie Bell page, but I'm still working it. 
so why not you know i have makeup on so might as well 10 p.m in texas yeah yeah i i've been around i swear guys i have a ton of projects going um one of them um the customer's picking out hardware for so i can't post that it's, it's done i just um need to get some hardware on it um let's see another that's three pieces another one i'm waiting for hardware to come in the mail that i ordered um i ordered not enough i i don't know i counted wrong um so i'm waiting for hardware to come in the mail for that one um another one i just haven't had time to get to because i've been working those other ones then i've got this one this one will probably be the first of anything i finish and it's the last one i started So it's not on purpose that I've been quiet. I just really don't have, I don't have any work done. And then our home build has been full steam for the last two weeks. Yeah, waiting on hardware stinks. And then, you know, if you've ordered hardware, a lot of the hardware comes out of China. So it takes like three weeks to get here sometimes. Cabinets, oh, cabinets. Yeah, I've been getting cabinet bids for our house. I've been working on that too. Um, but this week we had a lot go on with our build, which it's been kind of slow. And then it, you know, that's what this is. It's slow and then all comes at once. And this has been the all comes at once phase. Um, so we got electrical, our rain gutters on. This is all in the last two weeks. Um, so electrical, rain gutters, our HVAC was started yesterday. Um, um Let's see, what else? Plumbing, our windows and doors went in, um, exterior windows and doors. We have to pick our stucco color. Like, I'm inundated with, with stuff. Um, Amanda, I'm on that Facebook page, the Hardware Exchange. Yeah, they have great vintage stuff on there. Um, I like Etsy for matching vintage hardware. I like Be Lawless, of course, because they have awesome customer service um i actually am probably going to get my, some of my hardware from for the new house from be lawless just smoothing out that the white into the um i'm gonna redo this emblem in the middle yeah sarah go join that go join that facebook group it's um it's a place to sell like when you have vintage hardware that you take off a piece and you're not going to reuse it. Like the piece I'm waiting for hardware for my customer, it's all Heppel White poles and she wants to buy her own hardware. I've never had someone turn down Heppel White. Um, so I have like 30 Heppel White poles, 28 I think, now that I'm not using. So I just washed that emblem in my stormy seas. I'm going to go back and clean these edges up with my eraser, which is just the white paint on a really dry brush. I don't want this to be totally consistent. I want some areas darker than others. It's not a full true ombre. Oh, hi, Joanne. What time is it in Michigan? Michigan. Huh. Um, one of my really good friends from here in Sacramento, my a mom friend that I've made, is moving to North Dakota. I'm super sad. I'm going to miss her like crazy. Um, she's been a good friend to us, and then our kids get along really well, which, I mean, those are, those are treasured friendships. So I'm really going to miss her a ton. It's 11 o'clock. Okay, so pretty much it's 11 o'clock for everybody right now, except for me. I don't know. I don't want this to be too busy. I really kind of want it to just kind of fade up like randomly. Does it work like glaze when you do that? Um, my paint is not sealed, so I'm working with raw paint. Um, yeah, it is kind of like using paint like a glaze. Um, but I'm really, I'm really working with very minimal paint. And as long as you keep it somewhat wet, you can keep working the paint like this. So I'm using a lot of water, very little paint. Um, 
that's super pretty down there. So now I need to make this part kind of match because it's a different color blue. I need my stormy seas up there. So I'm going to put it on and wipe it back off again. I just want to get an outline on this door, door frame, door frame. So this piece is a custom order. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's a good style. It's not a full ombre. This was a custom order and we were gonna, originally gonna do white and then she sent me a picture with some blues in it. And this was, this is kind of a mix between the two. It's not a full ombre, but it adds in just a little bit of color. But by the time I get up to my top, I'm still mostly white. But it just gives a little bit of color to the base that you can tie into a room. I'm a color person. I like I like working in color. So when she gave me the option of, you know, I don't know, it was I was kind of given creative freedom, but when she gave me the option, I'd always rather work in color. I just think like it. Like happy bottomed. Oh my gosh, it's got to be like the best comment I've ever read. Uh, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Heavy bottom. You guys are too funny. Honestly, I've missed kind of interacting with my page. It's been, I've been a little slow on responding to things and um, I'm just so busy. As we get into the move and the house being done and um, it's only going to get worse, I know too only gonna get worse so I don't know I hope you guys don't mind the house posts I know they're not painting and I I almost feel like I'm boring people sharing them all the time that's just what we're doing right now so I appreciate when you know people are excited with the process with us um, but it, it'll be less painting for a while it will be it has to be um, Right now I'm working on packing up our house so we can get it ready for sale. Um, my challenge to myself has been never sending my husband out there with an empty truck. So every time he goes out, I make sure he's got a full truck bed. I don't know. I'm going to come back and do this again because I don't really like it. I want this a little darker, which means I've got to re-blend the top too. Get this closer. I had this on wheels and it kept falling off. Too frustrated to deal with it. Coming back with some white. Hey Renee! Thank you guys for loving the house post. So yeah, that's when I kind of disappear, that's just, it, you know, that's just what's going on. Um, a lot of house stuff this weekend last, which I'm really excited about because we had like three really slow weeks when we were super frustrated and, um, you know, stuff wasn't happening. So I, I'm super grateful, but it means we need to, we need to move our tails. Like I need to get my house ready for sale and I need to get ready to move out of it. We've lived here for 10 years. Do you know the kind of stuff that's in my closet? I have a huge Goodwill pile going on. I don't know, we might do a yard sale if I have time. Yeah, right. Hi, Sandy. Yeah, Jenna Life totally has happening right now. Um, I mean, it's good. It's all good. This is our dream. This is our dream and we worked our tails off to get here. We never, ever, ever, I, I can't stress this enough because I don't want people to ever think this came easily. We never thought we'd be able to build a home that we designed for ourselves, for our family. We have worked our tails off to make this happen. It is truly our dream. It is, I mean, this house means a lot to us. So I really enjoy sharing it because it's um, I don't know. I never thought it would be possible. Yeah, packing a craft room. Blah. I have a linen addiction. My linen closet is out of control. I think I've sent out like already five huge garbage bags. 
just from my linen closet. That's the stuff I'm keeping. That's not even what I'm getting rid of. I love linens. Um, but at the same time, I've been cleaning up my workspace out here because I need to keep working. Um, but I need to get it all out of my house. I have a lot of staging items in my house. So I'm moving all those out to the garage, taking down cabinets out here. I mean, it's, it's really changing. We need to get some new bark in our backyard, like, you know, under the kids' swing set. It's just, um, you know, the bark is kind of flattened, so we need to get some new bark out here. Just stuff like that. I mean, um, you know, we've always taken care of our house, but I think you don't realize some of the stuff that goes unnoticed until you start moving like we need to recalk our windows and um you know the bark and my husband's been working on getting keeping the lawn nice and green for when we list i'll post i'll post the listing once we get it up because like it really doesn't matter if people know where i live at that point what color is this this is a base of drop cloth with and then i'm working in some stormy seas Stormy Seas and Midnight Sky. So they're kind of like gray blues. I also just got a new light, guys. This is my ring light. And I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling it out still. I had gotten a microphone for my lives. No joke. I used it one time and it totally broke. So that was garbage. Um, I like the lights. I think they're a huge opportunity but I don't like them at the same time because they, they stress me out. Um, if you, do you guys watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Anyone? Am I the only one who watches that trash? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like slapping out my flip-flops. That's all I wear. These are my painting flip-flops. Can you tell? I have painting flip-flops and painting Uggs. That's it, one way or the other. Oh yeah, on the flip-flops. I know, if I go to wear regular shoes now, like, they're so uncomfortable. My feet are forever damaged by flip-flops. It's kind of funny. I'm going to come up here and work with this drawer a little bit. I'm just kind of doing the corner of the drawer, because I want it to be stronger on the white. Slow that trash. <laughs> Guys. <sighs> I feel so much more relaxed when I go live on my own page. The Dixieville audience is just a very, it's a bigger audience. I feel obligated to them. It's a job. Um, so I take it very seriously. Um, so tonight I just thought I'd come on and decompress with some painting and my life had tons of technical issues tonight. So I just needed to calm down. It was stressful. I try to stay cool under pressure, but I'm not. Oh, best flip flops ever. Seriously, these are reefs with the bumps on the bottom. They're so comfortable. I got these in like Hawaii, I think, my first pair. And then I keep getting them off. Um, we are your tribe. Guys, you're gonna make me cry. Um, thank you. I I feel so much more, I don't know. This is my home, my, my page is my home, you know? I hear other people say that too, but it's true. So yeah, that's all. I'm just decompressing tonight because it's been it's been stressful. And I didn't want you guys to think I totally disappeared or on purpose or anything. I'm not. I'm working every day. There must be one if they're crying. I'm not even a drinker. Dixie Bell's trying to make me a drinker, but I'm not even a drinker. Like, I have to choke down a glass of wine. No joke. If you were my friends, they, I'm sure they all watch and they're like, Brandy drinking? I don't think so. I need uppers, not downers. Am I the only guy here? <laughs> my husband's out front. Yeah, he's watering the grass right now. My husband's out front. Um, some people have joined, so I'm going to go back and I'll tell you. I'm not telling you every time I change colors, but I'll tell you, you can tell by what brush I pick up. 
This is my Midnight Sky brush. If you see me using that one, that's the darker color Midnight Sky. Midnight Sky brush. This is my Stormy Seas brush, if you see me using this one. This is my drop cloth brush, my Klingon. And then I have another one. Oh, my Dixie Belle brush. This is just a totally dry brush that I'm just using for brushing the paint out. So I'm not adding any color on this one. Spray bottle, mister. Maybe you could start on a flip up. Sure, sure, why not? Uh, oh man, I know. I need to stop like taking on more stuff right now because I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Like, I'm just tired. My house is a mess. My kids are getting out of school, but like, I mean, tomorrow I've got to go to a singing program for first graders. Spray bottle. Um, these are um, hairstylist misters that you can get on Amazon. Gary, there you go. There you go. You guys can hang out now. We got some guys on too. I love guy painters. My husband's out here all the time helping me. Dixie Belt is awesome. Um, Dixie Belt is so incredibly supportive of me. Um, I tell them everything when I'm stressed out when, um, you know, I don't, and, and they just do nothing but reassure me and open doors and, um, just a really awesome company to work with, which I so appreciate that that was really important to me, um, in working with a brand. It had to be a brand I genuinely believe in. I love this paint. Um, I actually used another brand. I'm not going to say the name just recently. And going back, I was like, Ooh, I really, really, really sometimes lose sight of, I really love this paint. I'm going to spray this again because it's not blending very well. You know, things you forget about, like, uh, before you had a smartphone and you forget that you used to have a flip phone, you know, go back and use a flip phone now and then you'll appreciate your smartphone a little bit more. Stuff like that. You forget. I never thought I needed a smartphone. I thought they were like, I don't need that. And now, like, it's my livelihood. My husband's out talking sprinklers with the neighbor. You're trying to become a vendor, yeah. Um, I think, well, on my life tonight, I was talking with Luann, and she's a, she's a Dixie Bell retailer. She was talking about how far they've grown in three years and I um gosh I'm amazed but but it's true she said three years ago Dixieville had 30 colors and now we're up to over 60. They are introducing four new ones at the beginning of July. A navy um aubergine which is a plum purple really dark purple um um, farmhouse green is a really light, fresh, crisp green, and then a dark chocolate, which is great for shading. I've already used, I've used all of them except for the farmhouse green. So I'm trying to find a project for that one. Actually, I have a project for that one. I do. I have a, a rocking chair um, for a friend. Friends wait the longest for their projects. Friend, it's not a good deal to be my friend. <laughs> I love them for waiting so long. I'm going to turn this guy's going to sound really loud. If I can. I'm right on the edge of my garage. Hang on, I'm going to turn this. I really like where the front is. I'm going to work this side now. I had this on wheels and it fell off the wheels and I'm not going to put it back on right now. Oh, I love the front of this. It's so pretty. Oh, yes. Um, 
So the purple color aubergine is a is a plum purple, like really dark, dark purple. Um, so, oh, back to my thought. Um, <laughs> first things last, that buffet is gorgeous. You know, you know furniture too. Um, you guys, Renee, Renee um, is on here and she's a customer. Well, I met her as a customer, but I consider her friends now. Um, she's building a house right now too. And we just really bonded over that. Her experience, some of her experiences have been the same experiences I'm having, which really helps because this is the first time we've done this. I don't know what it's like. I don't know what to expect. I read every blog you can think of, but um, hearing what another person's experience has been was really comforting sometimes. Um, you really think it's bad when it's your own? Yeah, Renee. Um, so. So I just really connected with Renee and, and I got to make some beautiful pieces from her house. Honestly, some of my favorite pieces I've ever made. Um, and then also see, see their home being built. And um, so it's just been cool. I've always met really, you know, I have awesome customers. I have awesome customers. They're the best. Are you leaving the drawer in? Are you just, oh, um, you closed today? You guys closed today? You guys, um, Renee's family, they were totally, you know, things were stressful on the edge of their seat. They closed on their new home today. I can't imagine what that feels like. Jenna, thank you so much for coming on. Your comment was hilarious, by the way. Totally got me laughing. I needed that. Yes, congratulations to Renee. Um, I can't imagine what that's going to be like. Our experience is going to be a little bit different. We're going to move into our house before it's done. Don't tell the county. Um, and we're going to do a lot of the work ourselves. We're, um, me and my husband have done flips before. Um, we enjoy it. We've remodeled the house we live in completely. So we're going to put our cabinets in. We're going to do our tile work. We're going to, so there's going to be a little bit of time when I stop painting and you guys see me at a, you know 11 o'clock in on the east coast doing tile work instead um we think it'll be easier to do if we're living there while we're doing it i already have all of most of our tile and finishes chosen um, sinks faucets we're going to do all that stuff um we did just decide we're going to hire out all the mill work because um, mill work four years in building a house. Yeah, you know, one of my memories came up on my personal Facebook page. We bought a house three years ago um, on two and a half acres and it was an older home and we just looked at it like, okay, well, we, we like a project, so we'll go in and redo this house. I've never been through such a stressful experience in my life. Like I would rather build any day over remodeling like that. Um, so we owned this house and everything we touched, everything we opened was like a can of worms. The electrical was messed up. The, I mean, they never, literally never cocked a window in their house. Um, and then everything was just like, why did they do this? What, you know, we were fixing everything and it got to the point where we're like, we could dump another hundred grand into this remodel or just build our own house. And so thankfully it was a strong market. I tell this story on my on my blog too. Can you guys see this? What I'm working on. This is just the side. This is my first coat, so I'm gonna have to come back and put more blue on because I gotta layer it a little bit. Um, but I really just and I'm gonna carry it up here on the sides. So. So my kids were really young. We were doing all this remodel work ourselves. The house was 40 minutes away. My husband was pretty much living there. It was just a really stressful time for us. Um, and so we decided to sell it. Thankfully the market was favorable and we were able to make some money and look back on it now as a, um, you know, a positive experience. But when we were in it, it was, it was tough. It was really tough. Um, you know, Joanne and Joanna and Chip make it look so easy. It's because they have a construction company. You got a construction company flipping is a whole nother story. Um, husband and wife team with 
with full-time jobs, mm -mm, won't do it. So, um, so that's how we ended up coming to our bills. We found a lot. We used the money from the sale of that house and bought our lot. And then, you know, uh, both me and my husband worked in housing. I worked for the state in, in housing. And um, I'm on here late. What are you spraying? This is just water. This is a hairstylist mister. Um, it just delivers a very faint spray of water versus a spray bottle, which even on its spray setting, it's still heavier. Yeah, just water. Um, I have no problem picking finishes. I, I can look at something and I know exactly what I want. I've had this house designed in my head for years, guys. I know what it looks like in there already. We don't even live there. Um, like, I have furniture stashed for it. Pieces that I've been saving. So, it is a labor of love. I can't wait to live there. I can't wait to raise our kids there. Um, my husband and I, we've been together for, let's see, 19 years this year 15 married and uh, we grew up in apartments very you know poor not super nice places I moved a lot as a kid um, I just really wanted to put down roots in somewhere that we didn't feel like we had to move again so this will be our stay and raise the kids house And then if we decide to follow them somewhere else later, you know, then we can do that. Yeah, just water. There's a lot of water going on in this process. Um, I'm using white. White is kind of like my eraser. So these areas that I've gotten a little heavy on, I just come back and blend them back in with some white. So I'm going to leave this. This side is not perfect. Oh, never mind. I just saw that side. Um, but I need my second coat. I need this to dry. I can do that. Sarah, I totally intend to. You guys are going to get so sick of seeing that freaking house. Um, like I said, as we have to start working on it more, which is coming close, it's coming close. We think in the next, I think I'll list our house in the next probably two weeks, our house where we live now. And then, so say we're out there in six weeks and then we've got to be working on it. So yeah, you guys are going to see more of my house than you care to. And but I hope because you guys have followed me from day one, that it'll be kind of, you know, um, you know, you guys will be acquainted and I don't know. I really enjoy sharing the process. It's really once in a lifetime. I don't know if we'll ever do this again. Um, and I'm excited that it's part of our story now that we got to do this. We have learned so much. My husband has had to become an expert on electrical and roofing. And, um, you know, I hear him talking about things I never thought I'd hear him talk about. He works for a bank. I'm talking about you. <laughs> oh, but then it's okay. Yes, he just showed up. It's totally okay that way. So like I said, I'm going to leave this. It's not perfect. Um, I'll come back to it once it's dry and put another coat on, and that'll be my perfecting coat. Oh, I love the front of this one. So the front of this, I think, is like where I want it to be. The sides I hadn't started yet, so I need to catch them up. The front, I love. Do you ever glaze or shadow? Um, I do. I sometimes use the Dixie Belle glazes. Um, I want to use the Voodoo Gel Stain as a glaze, which I haven't, I haven't tried. Honestly, the line is so full that it's taken me a while to just accumulate all of the products. Um, and then to be able to try all the colors and all the products, it's, um, 
it takes time. So I've been with Dixie Belle for about six months now. Um, and I'm just now getting to where I can say I've used everything just now, but you know, but then there's still different ways to use everything. So I still have tons of exploring to do to be an expert in this product line, man, there's retailers that have a couple of years in learning all this stuff. You know, I know how to use them, but just getting that experience under my belt. You see, Mr. <laughs> he loves being called that, Sarah. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> he laughs about it. My husband's a good sport. He's my biggest supporter. I don't know why. Um, but he has done nothing but encourage me. Um, oh, so going back, I was just saying, I asked if you guys watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. There's a girl on there. Um, Erica is one of the girls on there. And she says, I just say yes to everything. And I'm tr I really like that philosophy. I'm really trying, like, if I have an opportunity, I'm going to try to make it happen. Um, just say yes to everything. And some of them will work out and some of them won't. But, like, it has really opened some doors. Um I have some exciting stuff come up coming up. I won't say anything right now. But um that, <laughs> that blue color is so in. It is. Oh, Renee, this is the blue that's on your blue buffet. The one that's all blue with the gold on it. This is the blue. This is the blue. Um Sandy, thank you um for saying that about Dixie Bell. Dixie Bell is a huge plus for me too. It's been a um, it's been a really positive experience for me. I can't even tell you how much I feel like I've grown as a painter. My number one issue I struggle with has always been confidence, and um, they've really helped build that for me, which is priceless. Um, that was that was what I struggled with. That was what I needed. So I'm doing the legs. I'm going to put the color on all of it and I'm going to wipe it off so it just stays in the crevices. I don't even know if you guys can see down this low doing the leg. Let's see. Can I bend this and not break it? I hope I didn't break it, but who knows? get down off my stool because I can't see well and I come up too high. Thank you. Yeah, Renee, that I know this color is so classic. I love this blue. It's got great undertones, that's why. So it's a nice cool like beachy blue tone. It's not too in your face or um you know baby blue or it's nothing like that. It's a very Stormy Seas, you guys. This is Stormy Seas. This is my main blue. I'm darkening it with a bit of um, Midnight Sky, but it's mostly Stormy Seas. So it's on my whole leg. I'm going to just wipe it off. I do all that work, and then I'm going to undo it. It's like putting a coat of paint on and then distressing it. I'm going to do all this work to get a beautiful coat of paint, and then I'm going to screw it all up. Um, because my paint isn't sealed, it really retains a lot of the paint and creates this haze over it. So it's a more aged look, but with the blue, it's really soft. So now I'm just going to darken up some of the... You know, like this part here, I'm going to come down here and darken this. Darken around here a little bit. Wipe it back off. I'm just looking, my other leg is a lot darker than this, so I need to be careful that they match. That's pretty, huh? So I can still see all the crevices. 
Don't look at this side, guys. This is just a base coat over here. This side is not what I want it to be. But the front is. My lighting's probably a little harsh, and I'm looking at this on camera thinking I should soften this right here. And then maybe over here. In person, it looks a little different. My lighting's a little harsh right now. I'm just going to soften this transition a little bit. Heather? It's so dark because I got far away, huh? It's really dark. <laughs> Brittany's a splitting queen. Oh, I don't know how that happened. It just happened. It's a look I like. That's how it happened. It's a look I like. So it's something that I'm comfortable doing. I like soft you know there are things I can't do very well I can't do boho I can't do you know but this is something I really enjoy why is it so dark oh yep I do have my queen on let me turn this light off and see if that helps that's what it really looks like in here yeah I have my cling on out cling on Dixie Belle brushes so um I'm just going back and forth sometimes I go over them a few times before I like really like the look once I touch it again, though, you kind of have to do the whole thing because then, it, you know, you get these awkward transitions. Using swirls kind of helps with stuff like this. Soften the colors. Ooh, that's better. I don't want it to be even on both sides. I want it to look random, purposefully random. You work in private. This is a private lesson. This is as private as my lessons get. No, I don't do lessons. Um, I work at odd hours. Like what? It's right now like midnight in some parts of the country. And I'm out painting. So... Anyway, I'm going to turn this and do the other side. I just wanted to catch up and put something on my page because I've been a little absent. Um, yeah, I have my Dixie Bell brushes out. Um, I like these with the natural bristles for, you know, blending. And then the round tips give me a nice full head. Same thing with my Klingon. You can watch me blend all day. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Um, so thank you guys. Go get some sleep. It's super late. Um, I'm gonna have some pieces done soon. I got I'm waiting on hardware in the mail like I said at the beginning. Um, I have like six pieces that are almost done. Yeah, it's it's bad. So this is an order. This one will be done pretty soon. This this one will probably be my next finished piece. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, it's late on the East Coast. It's not that late in California. It's only nine o'clock here. I'll go to bed in like five hours. All right. Good night, Sandy. Thank you guys.